Don't be a musician or a makeup artist. Whoa. Trailer park trash. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I've got the amazing and talented Azure here. Yo, yo. <laughs> I'll put all her links up top and at the bottom as well. So make sure you check her out. Her voice is freaking not normal. Like there's no one and there's her. So <laughs> today we're going to be talking a lot about the music industry and the like behind the scenes, how she got started, why she got started all the kind of good tea, as well as doing her lovely face. So I'm really excited to have her on my channel. And also she's wearing her green freaking, what is oh, it? Oh, made merch, I forgot that. Hold on, let me lift up my titties. Woo! <laughs> Famous! So I'll leave that in the link below as well, so make sure to check it out. I'm excited, you always make me look so amazing. There's so many people on my music, because obviously you did my makeup yeah. on my music video, most recent one called famous and everyone's messaged me is like how your makeup is insane and I'm always like yes I just <laughs> I just tag you I love you let's <laughs> just say at because <laughs> I have hooded eyes is that yes, true you do. okay what does that mean so hooded eyes are basically when your eyes fold so you know how right now like when you look straight yeah um your eye, like you can't actually see where your socket is. Yeah. Your eye what the fuck yeah, is so that? Yeah. So with my though, tell us about your journey. Like, what made you want to start music? Well, I've always sung and danced um, since I was like three years mm -hmm. old. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Like I started competition dance when I was like literally three. Yeah. Two or three, and it just kind of went from there. I just knew from like five years old. That is freaking I would just always be like, that's what I'm gonna do. Now tell everyone too. I love that. Tell them all. Tell them all, that's right. You gotta put it out there, right? I know, and that's why like, you know, at Christmas and stuff, it's always funny when like, you know, uncle whoever is like, you always told me you'd do this. <laughs> Damn fucking straight I did. So you write your own songs as well, right? I do, I write, yes. I that is literally awesome. So do you, like what gives you inspo, I guess? Like how do you, does it just kind of come to you? Like what is the process of <laughs> Oh my God, I don't have a mommy. You know. already left. Like <laughs> um, Cause she knows. Um, I am a very like specific songwriter. So <laughs> basically with me, I am not like a metaphorical writer. So a lot of people, will be like, I'm inspired by the changes of the world and I'm gonna write about it. I'm just like, nah, this person screwed me over at this time, this date, this is what they were wearing, this is what they did, this is what I did, this is what they said, here's the song. That's just me. I think it's also another way when I write is like for me to process. I'm not a particularly emotional person. Mm. So I find it quite hard sometimes to process emotion. Mm -hmm. So when I write, I get to say all the things that I either wish I said or was thinking at the time yeah. or, and it, to write it, you know, record it and then release it and let it go is I think a part of my grieving yeah. process. I love that. For some reason I said this weird, like mental thing where I was like, I'm not a songwriter. And then I, for the first time, wrote like about, obviously my mum passed away when I was 11. Yeah. I wrote about her death for the first time. And I like cried in the booth in front of like these producers in LA. Oh. And they were like, now you're an artist. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, no, <laughs> now I'm, want to go home <laughs> um but from then on i wrote everything i did that's awesome and that was like from my first single so so proud of you oh i think it's just like a songwriting thing is like you gotta you really have to be vulnerable yeah people don't think it's like but it's your heart like mm. it's rough people always ask me you know like oh do your exes like why are you gonna write songs about them and stuff and i'm like yes <laughs> Yes, they do. And you know why they worry? Because they should. So you 
you obviously have come from not much, right? You you weren't really given anything, yeah, no, I'm, right? I'm trailer park trash, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. We don't call it ourselves anymore. We we were, were trailer park trash. <laughs> Thank you. So what I guess like what's your advice for someone that is like especially in Australia, Sydney? I feel like it is a bit harder to start out. Like yeah, Australia you know what I mean? Hard. Yeah. So what would your advice be, like other than I always say just do it. Yeah, like, because 100%. Because I think when you think about it, like, you just... Yeah, it, th- it seems so, like, too big mm. to, like... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't think too much, mate. That's my advice. Yeah, I like that. But, yeah, we we have similar yeah. stories. Um, yeah, we both came from nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, my mum died when I was 11, and my dad was um, absent most of my life so I think and like maybe this is just like I can only speak for myself so Mm -hmm. I was just born with this like thing inside me not like a baby like (laughs) like a just this burning that's the weirdest feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like if I didn't do this, I may as well be dead. It's just my whole purpose. And I just, every single day, take steps towards making that happen. It's not about where am I going to be? We were just speaking yeah. about this. Where am I going to be next week? Where am I going to be in a year? Where am I going to be? You can't see that. Only God can see that. So my advice is every single day, take a step mm-hmm. or steps towards being where you want to be and that could be like I'm gonna I don't know do my social media today I'm gonna write a song today I'm gonna you know plan out content I'm gonna whatever it is that you do take steps every day to get to where you want to be but take it day by day because I do get really overwhelmed sometimes especially like being where I am now and you know things are changing and Mm -hmm. it's it's it can get it's weird like once you start to get a little bit of success you start to feel like weirdly like sad i don't know how to i get it <laughs> do you, like i think it's because we're used to not having it so when you have it you kind of feel guilty because you're like i know i meant to have it but am i really meant to have it yeah like, why is it seriously coming? yeah so it's like self-sabotage hey once i get a bit i have this thing where i go it's not enough it's not enough yeah so that's when we're our own worst critics. Exactly. Right? And I'll be like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing good enough. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit, but it's not enough. Like, I look at from where I was this, like, what month are we in? April. April, yeah. Fuck. Oh, wow. April now to April last year, my career is like worlds apart. Yeah. And my life is worlds oh, yeah. apart. Like, I had a whole different group of people in my life this time last year. Mm. Um, Crazy, hey? Jess and I are, um, we're trying to change our thought. We are changing. We are! Fuck, see? (laughs) Alrighty. So she's a lot better at it than me at this point. (laughs) She's a manifestation queen, which I used to be really good at. Yeah. And then I just sort of fell off the wagon a bit. Um, but we're back on now. We're back on. We're back on now. And there's nothing and no one's gonna get in between that, right? No way. No way. They can't stop us. No. People ask me that now, like, oh, you know, do you, like, oh, do you get pay- how much do you get paid for a show? Blah, 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 blah. And, like, not in the, I don't think they're being rude. Like, I think yeah. they're actually genuinely like, oh, my God, how exciting that you get paid. Yeah. If you uh-huh. want money, yeah. don't be a musician or a makeup artist. Just don't do it. Anything creative, motherfucker, go be <laughs> a stockbroker or something. Fucking literally though. Do not be creative. If you don't love what you do, if you don't love this, you will perish. Yeah, hundred percent. Because it is a labor of love. Yeah. It's so much work. Yeah. So much work. Amen. For sometimes sometimes no reward. (laughs) Yeah. But I think the reward is it's internal. Yeah. You have to love it. It's like people see now, like I'm. We're by no means famous, but yet, yet. <laughs> see, <laughs> it's all the things that you say are, are like internally and externally as well. Trust I know, me. I know, I know. <laughs> I um, 
But we are like, you know, we're moving up in the world. 100%. Better than we were. Oh my god, yes. And, and we've like, got you know, good goals. We've actually got like, do you know what I mean? Like we've got good. I, I don't like saying plans because I feel like nothing ever really goes to plan. But we've got a plan to get there. And if it does steer in a bit of a di- different direction, we know that we we'll can still adapt. get to yeah, and we'll still get to our end goal no matter what. We're just know? waiting for the borders to open up so we can go to America. That's our whole plan. See you there. <laughs> That's our whole plan. <laughs> I wonder if people over there will like us. I'm gonna oh, go. They will. Do you think or or not? No, I know. I know they will. What is your process for people that are scared to get hate? Because I feel like, especially yeah. now with social media, everyone gets it, right? Like, even if it's your own family members, just being like, are you serious? Like, kind of thing. So, oh my God. From the very beginning of my career, yeah. I was terrified to get hate, right? I'm a very, very strong person. I quite literally find it extremely hard to care what anybody thinks. Um, which is a good trait. Which is, a, it is good. But I am, I do have an eating disorder and have since i was i don't know really young my biggest trigger and fear would be someone like calling me fat Mm -hmm. um because i'm i was just so scared i did a lot of work on myself for therapy and medication and all the things that i should be doing but i was like oh my god when that happens yeah. I'm not going to be able to handle it. Yeah. Um, but it's happened. I was about to ask, has it happened? Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone, <laughs> someone messaged me and said, stop singing in cursive, you fat whore. Oh, wow. Okay. I nearly peed my pants. Well, at least you laughed. Well, see, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to. Be devastated, but I really just thought it was funny. Um, But again, I think at the end of the day, there has to be an inner strength if you're going to do a career like this. There has to be, you have to be a pillar of strength for yourself. Yeah. Because there is no person in your team, in your friends, in your family, in anything that can make you feel better if someone's calling you a fan of war. The people that I've loved the most in my life have talked so much shit about me in the past that someone on the internet doesn't really raise me up. Yeah. Like, whatever. I think that like it's all perspective and I think my advice to you would be it's okay to have it's okay to let it hurt you. Yeah. It's okay to let that hurt wash over you. It's okay. Yeah. Just don't hold on to it. Yes. Yes, I Let it wash that. over you and go, oh, that that hurt me. Yeah. Oh, why would they say that? Yeah. Let it happen. Process it. If you need to have a cry, have a cry. You need to call your best friend, call your best friend. But don't hold on to it. Because mm. it's not your hate. They're putting it out. Give it back to them. Yeah. They're, they're throwing out their hate to you. You just take it and you throw it right back and go, that's on you. You said that and that's you. Yeah. That's not me. Yeah. And I think that if they're taking the time out of their day to hate on your video, send them a fucking prayer. Yeah, literally. Send them a prayer. Bitch could be walking their dog. Yeah. She could be cooking her lunch. She could be trying to find a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a cat. She could be doing anything. She needs a prayer (laughs) or he or them. Yeah. Whoever the fuck they are, I don't (laughs) give a shit. Send them a prayer because they obviously... It's just, it's pain. And hurt people hurt people. Send back love and what can they do with that? Nothing. Thank you so much for the comment. Because yeah. you gave me another view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got my eyebrows done in... Can you never do your eyebrows? Like, we will literally have a fight. Okay. We will have a fight if you do. Okay. Don't ever. We've never had a fight, so... Yeah, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Your eyebrows are freaking perfect. They're going to grow over my forehead. And I love that. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will let you know if that happens. If that happens, I'll be like, okay, babe. We Time can do now. It. Uh, we can go. But I'm coming. <laughs> Where are we? What? Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you heard it. I felt like a werewolf <laughs> for the next however long. Look how bloody big they are now. I love them so much. Wow. You can't see Jess, but she just went, wow. <laughs> Literally, advice about if someone was going to get signed or something. Like, yeah. What I guess, what should they look out for? What is your advice? I think the first, the first thing for me is like, um, the music industry, in my opinion, and experience, 
is full of narcissistic, disgusting, abusive, power hungry. I love how you're thinking so. <sighs> misogynistic. Did I say that? No. Um, That's a new one. Diabolical men. But it is also filled with the most inspirational, powerful, incredible, amazing, courageous, brave, brilliant people. I think that the music industry, especially at the moment, is going through a massive shift. We are all making an active step to changing it. Yeah. And the men that were in power who were doing these things are getting that power stripped from them. Yep. Soon, I believe those places are gonna be filled by, you know, whoever, whether you're a man, you're a woman, you're non-binary, it doesn't matter. A person with authenticity and integrity and respect. My advice would be stay safe, um, stay informed, and know your, know your rights, know your power, know what you deserve, um, and always be the kindest person in the room. And I don't think, I think that like, I'm not always saying that I've done that, you know? I think that's what I've learned in my time in the industry. Like, I think when I first got into it, I always felt like I was struggling for power, like, cause I, I was, y I'm a young girl yeah, on course. my own. Often, you know, I was, none of my family were involved. I was always on my own. I was always in sessions of proving myself. So I feel like I came across like really a lot of the time quite aggressive and like, well, I'm this and I'm that. Yeah. And, I'm a, and I'm really small. So I'm like five, three. Yeah. So I'm this big man and I'm always like, ah. And even though my personality is really fiery, I think now that I've grown into myself and I've, I think I've settled in a way where it's like, I don't have to scream to be heard. But a lot of the time, as a woman in the industry, you do, you did feel like that. Yeah. Girl, I used to be friends who said that like, no look is complete without a lip. And I remember being like, I never do a lip. Oh. No, I do now. Oh, okay, good. This was like years ago. I almost died. Oh my God. Literally. Everyone has different strengths for yeah. sure. Oh my God. I feel like I'm emerging from like <laughs> something. I don't know what. I always feel like I'm in an ad. So hot. Shh. I feel like your eyes just... They're creepy. No, 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 oh. no. They're, they're unnerving. They are unnerving. I don't agree at all. I firmly disagree. Okay. I feel like your eyes are kind of like those eyes. It's like so seductive. It's like you're looking you think? my eyes and it's just like, I just did things to you that I'm sure you know about. Like you're doing it right now. <laughs> And I'm thinking, I'm like, I might have Mexican for dinner. <laughs> That's what I'm actually thinking. Did I get the cat's tuna? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on my channel. No Gorgeous problem. Thing. I'm so, this has been fun. This has been so fun. If you guys want to message her, DM her, look at her beautiful videos. Everything is down below and at the top. Um, please make sure you watch her TikToks as well. They literally give me life. They literally are so, she's so authentic and real. Like you can't get realer than that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the questions and Love thank you. you yeah bye everyone